Hey gang, I just wanted to make a quick video to share a tool that I've been using that allows a person to gain insights into their hemoglobin or iron levels at home. Let's jump in. TC Hill is not a doctor and does not claim to be a doctor or licensed in any type of medical field. Don't be an idiot and use anything heard on the show as medical advice. This information should be used for educational purposes only and you should contact your doctor for any medical advice. Now get off me. So you may have seen that we have other videos on how to correct issues like anemia, but you may have also seen that I have an iron overload issue that's a hereditary problem called hemochromatosis, where my body absorbs more iron than it should, and as iron accumulates, it can really create a lot of inflammation and a, and a whole lot of problems. So I've been dealing with this for a really long time, and I've been able to find ways to manage it really easily. But I found this really cool tool that I wanted to share with you guys, and it's an at-home tool that allows a person to check their hemoglobin levels. Now, hemoglobin and iron are not actually the same thing, but they're connected and almost kind of dependent on each other. They're not always going to line up. Hemoglobin is not going to tell you exactly what your iron situation is. Hemoglobin has the ability to go high for other reasons that are not associated with iron. But if you're dealing with hemochromatosis and you're kind of monitoring your iron by getting iron panels done, this is a great way to get some insights into what's going on at home. And if you're an individual who's dealing with anemia and low iron levels, man, it sucks. You just feel so wiped out. And we have other videos that I'll point you to on how to correct that issue and what to look at what is likely going on, the most common underlying cause. But this can be a great tool that you can just kind of monitor this at home and get an idea, am I moving in the right direction? So I got this on Amazon. This is not a, a paid promotion or a sponsorship video. I bought this with my own money. The company doesn't know I'm making it so I can say whatever I want about it. It looks like the company's name is Urit. And I've seen other ones out here. I don't think that you need to use this one. This is just the one that I've used and I liked it. So I'm gonna show it to you. I'll put a link in the description below to where you can get it on Amazon, but they have other ones available from different brands as well. So I tested this. I went to donate some blood at the Blood One place here in Florida. And uh, I tested with this machine before I went in and then I wanted to, because they test, when you're going to donate, they test to make sure that you have enough iron to allow you to donate some blood and give some up. So I wanted to see how accurate it was. And the first time I went, this went lower, but I realized that when you measure with this particular meter, with just a really small amount of blood, it tends to give you a lower reading. So I've tested this and I did a reading with just like a little tiny bit of blood and it came up a little bit low. And then I did it minutes later with a bigger finger prick. And then I had a little bit more blood in the sample and it gave a number that I suspected to see. So just make sure that you're not doing like a little tiny bit of blood. And when you look at the strips that they come with, they come with these strips here and it's just like a glucometer where you kind of put this in the, the machine. And then when you do that, that kind of has the ability to kind of turn it on. And this thing, you just kind of fold over. It's a little bit weird of a strip. It's not like the, a lot of the glucometers where it just kind of sucks it up. You kind of fold it over and kind of get the blood in there. But the numbers came up accurate enough for me to say, okay, I can use this as a reasonable sign of what's going on for me. So if a person was dealing with anemia issues, as they're taking steps to correct that actual underlying cause, they could use this meter and just kind of check in every few weeks to see, are my numbers starting to look better? Is it looking a little bit more reasonable? And in adult male, they say that, you know, the optimum range is really somewhere between 13.5 and 17.5. And for a female, it's between 12 and 15. So there's some things that can make that vary. And, and just understand that if you're dealing with a hemochromatosis issue, just looking at your hemoglobin level is not an accurate thing of actually telling you what your full iron level is or iron saturation level or your ferritin levels. So you really want to check in on those from time to time. The way that I use this and that I really benefit from this is that if a person has hemochromatosis, they can have their doctor write a prescription to allow them to donate blood more frequently than a blood donation system would allow you to donate. So I have a doctor write me a prescription that allows me to donate and I can go every two or three weeks according to the prescription that my doctor wrote for me according to where my levels were when he looked at. So I can go every two or three weeks but after I start getting my levels into a human range again, if I continue to go every two or three weeks, 
I really get wiped out because my iron starts to go too low. So I use this to get an idea. Do I qualify to go in and donate some blood today? Because they're going to check when I go in to see is it high enough for me to donate. So instead of driving all the way down there, I can just use this machine to get an idea. Of, okay, they're not going to kick me out and tell me to kick rocks and go home. I'm not good enough because I can look at it before I even go in. So it's not quite as cheap as a glucometer. I think this was like $129. I think I've seen some other ones for around $109 or $120, something like that. But for someone who could really benefit, it just seems worth it to me. So I hope that helps. And if you're an individual who's dealing with anemia issues, you can jump over right now and check out our video on what's causing my low iron or anemia. And if you're dealing with high iron levels, you can hear my story of how I corrected my issue on my story about hemochromatosis. I hope that helps.